Good evening. Good evening. I want to share with you from uh, Luke chapter 21, verse 36. And the Messiah, Yahushua, speaking, says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. Now, there's a lot of confusion about the timing of the rapture. And uh, I believe in the pre-tribulation rapture. I believe in the pre-tribulation rapture simply because of many, many, many uh, references in the scriptures support that, uh, that belief. Uh, but one in particular right here, the Messiah says, Watch therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape. He did not use the word endure. And there's a lot of people uh, I, I see on uh, Facebook and, and different uh, YouTube channels and and I see a lot of people that, that uh, oppose the pre-tribulation rapture, and they, they like to, to quote that phrase, you know, he that endureth unto the end shall be saved. Or they try to say that uh, the, the church will have to, you know, endure the tribulation and go through the tribulation. But see, not according to the Messiah. He uses the words right here. He said that, that we would be able to escape. Now, escape means exactly what this word here that he used, it means exactly what this, this word is translated correctly as to escape, that we would not be here to participate. He did not say, pray that you can endure the tribulation. Now, there are people that are going to have to endure the tribulation, but he's not talking to the church here in Luke chapter 21, verse 36. I mean, he's not talking to the church here in Luke 21, 36 about uh, having to He's talking about, he's talking to us about escaping. See, the only thing that makes you and I worthy is if you're a part of the church, meaning that you are born again of the Ruach HaKadosh, and that because you have been born again, that we, that the righteousness which we have partaken of is not our own righteousness. It is the righteousness of the Messiah. When he says, pray that you, uh, that may be accounted worthy, the only thing that makes you and I worthy is the blood of the Messiah and his sacrifice that he has paid the price for our sins. And it takes your faith and my faith, believing that and trusting in that, that causes a person to pass from death unto life. It's what causes you to be born again. It's what causes you to receive the Ruach, to receive the Spirit. And once a person has done that, he is already accounted as worthy. You know, there are a lot of people out there that teach in, uh, uh, on uh, social media and they, they, they try to come across as the fact is that, you know, that not all believers are going to be going in the rapture. And that's not accurate. If you're truly a believer, if you truly have been born again of the Ruach HaKadosh, you are accounted worthy. Now, we, what he's talking about here, about uh, he's talking just to a general group of, of people here about being ready. You know, in fact, all people should take heed to this scripture. And the fact is that you need to make sure that you're accounted worthy to escape these things. And the only thing that will uh, cause you to be worthy is the fact that you're born again. You put your faith and trust in the Messiah. As you're not trusting in yourself. You're not trusting in your own good works or your good deeds. You're trusting in the fact that Yahushua paid the price for your sins. You trust and believe that to be the case. And if you have truly done that, you've been given the spirit. You've been given the Ruach. And so because of that, you are accounted as worthy. <laughs> That's good news. And he said that we would escape all these things, not endure the things. We would escape them. And he's talking about, of course, the time of the tribulation or Daniel's 70th week where the wrath of Yahuwah is being poured out on the earth. We have not been appointed to Yahuwah's wrath, we that are believers and part of the, the uh, we that are the bride of the Mashiach are, have not been appointed to wrath. May these words comfort you tonight because that's what they're for, to comfort you. Shalom.